From advances in medicine, science, and archaeology, join me as I reveal to you 15 amazing accidental discoveries that helped change the world. Number 9. Terracotta Army In China, 1974, the tomb of the first Chinese emperor of the Qin Dynasty was discovered buried in the ground. Eager to see what the emperor had buried with him, the seven-person archaeology team began to excavate the area. When they did, they found something rather unexpected. For as they were digging, one of the diggers hit a statue with his shovel. But instead of bronze or another metal, it was made of terracotta. But that in and of itself wasn't the amazing discovery, but rather, when they kept digging, they found more and more of these statues. All told, they found 8,000 terracotta statues positioned around the tomb of the emperor. Very amazing, but also very odd. Why would anyone go to such lengths in a burial site? Well, the followers of Emperor Qin Shi Huang wanted him to be protected in the afterlife. So, they buried him with an army, via the terracotta statues, so that he would have loyal followers at his side should he need it. That revelation is very shocking, on many levels in fact. But don't let the numbers of terracotta army distract you from some of the things that prove the dedication of this construction. First, each and every member of the terracotta army had its own unique face, which means that each statue is special in its own make, and there's a thousand of them. That's a lot of dedication and style to put into them. Second, soldiers weren't the only thing they made, as they also made terracotta horses and chariots. This was widely regarded as one of the greatest archaeological finds in all of China, and the terracotta army was an inspiration for the film The Mummy, Tomb of the Dragon Emperor. 8. Microwave Oven it's easy to look at the modern world that we have today with all the wondrous technology that we possess and think that many of the inventions that we have were tested for years as a notion of an idea that happened rather logically. And some of them did have that, but not in the case of the microwave. Not unlike various other discoveries that were amazing, the idea of the microwave was discovered quite by accident by a man named Percy Spencer. This all happened in 1946. Percy Spencer was contracted by the Raytheon Corporation to work on a project related to radar. Radar was actually invented around that time for World War II, and so future study of it was paramount for many. While working on a vacuum tube, he noticed something wrong with his pocket. Mainly, the chocolate bar that was in it was fully melted. Usually, that would mean that Spencer was either lazy, who doesn't eat a chocolate bar immediately, or forgetful. But in this case, it was neither because the chocolate bar shouldn't have melted that quickly. Spencer realized that it was the vacuum tube that must have done this, so testing a theory, he pointed it at other food objects and watched as they all got cooked. Seeing this, he realized they were being cooked by microwaves, and later on he filed a patent for the first microwave machine. By the time 1965 came around, the first countertop microwave was released. Fast forward to now, most modern homes have a microwave, and it's considered a major staple of the home. It's amazing to think that such a simple accident led to one of the best modern inventions in history. Number 7. Anesthesia The world of medicine is one full of many complications and tests. Today, finding a new medicine is a process that takes years of tests, trials, and approvals. And that's after millennia of medicinal practices that were let's just say not exactly healthy. The idea of performing surgeries on people while they were asleep was ludicrous because of how the body reacted to pain. That is, until the birth of anesthesia came about. Before this tried and true product, putting a patient under the influence of no pain wasn't easy. Ether was used for a while, but it was dangerous as it could put the attending doctors and nurses to sleep as well. Then came nitrous oxide, which you know is laughing gas. But in the right amounts, not only would nitrous oxide make you laugh, it would make it so you didn't feel pain, which one dentist's friend figured out when he gashed his leg one time and then walked around carefree because he didn't know he was hurt. Eventually, in 1844, a man named Horace Wells performed the first operation using anesthesia. It didn't go well, but it did start a trend of other doctors using it. 
Eventually, the practice was spread all over the world, and now anesthesia is a commonplace medicine for anyone going into surgery. With it, many surgeries as they are now likely would have never been performed. 6. Big Bang The creation of the universe is a very hot topic, and by hot topic, I mean something that is hotly debated between those who believe in science and those who believe in a god or gods having created the universe. For those who believe the science theory of creation, they point to the Big Bang as the creation of the universe. In short, the Big Bang was an event that created a massive explosion of energy and through that the universe was created and continues to grow. But as far as when that theory was discovered, that would be in 1964 in New Jersey when two men accidentally discovered some noise in space that didn't register with everything they knew should be up there. Robert Wilson and Arno Penzias were two radio astronomers working with the Holmdel antenna and when they came across the noise in space, they slowly whittled down everything it could and couldn't have been. Then they recall the theory of another scientist that said that a Big Bang event would leave cosmic radiation in the universe, and that's exactly what they found. Their accidental discovery helped shape the science world and they actually got a Nobel Peace Prize as a result of the discovery. Number 5. Chewing Gum Yeah, I know it sounds ridiculous, but in fact, chewing gum, not to be confused with bubble gum that came later, was an accident that was equal parts dumb luck and frustration. You see, the basis of chewing gum back then was a sap called chicle. It was actually imported into the United States via Mexico and eventually ended up in the hands of Thomas Adams. But his mission wasn't to make gum, rather it was to make rubber, or to be more accurate, make a substitute for rubber. Adams gave it all he got, but eventually he had to give up because it just wasn't working. So, out of frustration, he took one of the rubbers he made and popped it into his mouth. Then he started to chew it, and it was good. And so, he made Adams New York chewing gum and became one of the biggest gum distributors in the land gum became so popular that it was eventually given to soldiers in World War II as part of their rations, and they actually used it as a currency to trade with locals. Cool, huh? So you see, sometimes the worst of times can bring about the best of discoveries. 4. Herculaneum The legend of Pompeii is a story that many are told for one reason or another. It is the story of the volcano known as Mount Vesuvius that erupted in such a violent way that it destroyed the entire city of Pompeii, creating both a legend and a horror story all at once. And to be clear, as I hope you would already know, the story is 100% true. But what gets lost in the legend is that Vesuvius didn't just destroy one city, it actually destroyed two, and the second one wasn't rediscovered for many centuries. This is the accidental discovery of Herculaneum. So the obvious question becomes, why did Pompeii get all the glory and legend while Herculaneum didn't? Timing for the most part. It was 12 hours after the fall of Pompeii that the fall of Herculaneum happened. What's more, because it was upwind of the volcano, the effects of the eruption not just wiped it out, but it actually preserved it perfectly. Some say that Herculaneum is actually in better shape than Pompeii, which was actually found to be in pretty good condition to be fair. Heading now to the 18th century, a farmer was doing work on land that was his, but what he didn't know at the time was that said land was also above Herculaneum. He began to dig a well and found some marble in the ground that he couldn't explain. The land itself shouldn't have had such stonework. It was later realized that he had dug up part of the Roman theater that was in Herculaneum. Robberies would soon come to the buried city, and then King Charles of Bourbon made a more official expedition to rediscover the city, one that continued in the 20th century. Thanks to these expeditions, the city is now protected as well as studied heavily, because Herculaneum now gives us a second viewing into what happened when Vesuvius erupted and what kind of information is invaluable. Number 3. The New World in an age where technology has basically mapped out pretty much everything in the world today, it may sound odd that to us that at one time, the people of the world didn't know just how big their world actually was. So much so that at one time, a man named Christopher Columbus had the idea to sail the ocean blue and find a new trade route from Europe to India 
in a fraction of the time. Little did he know that there was a set of connected continents in his way. Now, despite what the legend says, Columbus did not find America, but he did find several other countries and helped prove that there were things over here that many people didn't expect. And over time, this would grow into many expeditions including the Conquistadors, the Mayflower, and the birth of the English presence in America. And I'm pretty sure you know what happened from there. But either way, this is one accidental discovery that definitely changed history. 2. X-rays When a doctor tells you that you need an X-ray, you don't blink most of the time. You know what they do and what they show, and you know that you'll be protected. However, a long time ago, the idea of X-rays weren't even on the minds of doctors and scientists the world over. They didn't even know it was possible. Then, in 1895, a German physicist named Wilhelm Rotengen did an experiment that would lead to the discovery of X-rays, although very accidentally. He was working on a cathode ray tube and noticed that he could see an image. This was odd as the tube itself was completely covered, yet it was showing on a fluorescent screen nearby when the room was pitch black, something that couldn't have happened with the scopes of known sciences back then. Not sure what to make of it, he tried to block the glow that was showing up on the screen, including putting his hand in front of the tube. When he did, he saw an image of his bones within his hand on the screen. Understanding in part what was going on, he swapped the tube for a photographic plate and thus, X-ray imagery was born. The only sad part is that like many new sciences, Rotengen and other doctors didn't understand about radioactivity and how it could harm humans when they were exposed. However, after realizing that, they found out about lead shielding and now X-rays are another important medical tool for all of us. Number 1. The Dead Sea Scrolls When it comes to the many religions of the world, one of the reasons that they believe is that they have proof of those who come before them, thus making certain religious texts and artifacts some of the most important things in the world today. And many are actively trying to find them for all sorts of means. Please, no Ark of the Covenant jokes, but in 1947, one of the most important religious documents of all time were found by complete accident and by kids no less. This is the tale of the discovery of the Dead Sea Scrolls. The Dead Sea Scrolls were found near the city of Jericho. A group of teenagers were looking over a group of goats when suddenly one got lost. Anyone who knows the Christian Bible will know the irony in this. The teenagers then went to go find the goat. As they did, they found a cave, and wondering if the goat was in there, one of the teenagers threw a rock into it, and he broke a pot. Upon hearing this, he went into the cave and found several more pots, and within them were papyrus scrolls scrolls that were in fact some of the earliest known pieces of the Bible. Numerous chapters were within these scrolls and each of them were a piece of history. The true irony though was that the teenagers weren't exactly sure about the value of this find, so they went into town and sold it for what they could. But then they were tested and found to be very real and very old. A massive search for more of these scrolls was started. By the end they had found thousands of papyrus scrolls from scraps to full texts of the Bible. This accidental find is considered one of the greatest finds in history, and today the Dead Sea Scrolls have been shown off in many countries around the world. Thanks for watching, everyone. What did you think of these interesting and amazing accidental finds? Can you believe that they were truly found on accident? Which one of these discoveries was your favorite? Do you know of another discovery that should be on this list? Let me know in the comments below, be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you next time on the channel.